Welcome to the International Crane Foundation. My name is Ben Lamb, Education Program Coordinator, and I'm excited to give you all a virtual tour of our new visitor experience, Cranes of the World. During our tour today, as we go around the crane exhibits, we'll also get a closer look at the two North American cranes, the Sandhill Cranes and the Whooping Cranes. If you're not familiar with the International Crane Foundation, we work worldwide to conserve cranes and ecosystems, watersheds, and flyways on which they depend. In 2020, we completed a $10 million renovation at our headquarters in Baraboo, Wisconsin that included improvements to 10 crane exhibits, six new panoramic murals, a new George Archibald Welcome Center, and much more. Let's get started on this tour to see some of these new changes. Sandhill cranes are the most abundant out of the 15 crane species with over 800,000 in their population. This was not always the case though. In 1930s, there were only about two dozen pairs of sandhill cranes that lived in Wisconsin. But now they are abundant and you've probably seen them yourself. Sandhill cranes are primarily birds of open freshwater wetlands, but frequent a wide range of habitats, including grasslands and farmlands. You may see them in fields while you're driving, or maybe you might hear them calling while they're flying over. Sandhill cranes are proof that when private and public landowners commit to sharing their lands with cranes, when they truly benefit from that commitment, and when broad public support ensures policies that promote the protection of wise management of wetlands, cranes and many other species of wildlife can thrive among us. Also, sandhill cranes are generalists, and they feed on a wide variety of plant tubers, grains, small vertebrates like mice and snakes, and invertebrates such as insects or worms. And like the rest of the crane species, the sandhill cranes mate for life. Whooping cranes are large, charismatic birds that serve as powerful ambassadors for the conservation of wetlands and the freshwater resources that sustain our world and ourselves. The whooping crane, however, also is one of the rarest and most threatened bird species in North America. Dropping to a low of fewer than 20 individuals in 1941, whooping cranes are slowly coming back from the brink of extinction. Today, over 826 whooping cranes exist in the entire world. The largest wild and only self-sustaining population breeds in Wood Buffalo National Park in Canada and winters in, a, in and around the Rancis National Wildlife Refuge in Texas. As part of our commitment to saving whooping cranes in the wild, the International Crane Foundation serves as a leader in reintroducing whooping cranes in the eastern United States. I hope you enjoyed a glimpse of our new renovations and hope that you will come to see the cranes of the world in person when we're open again. In 2021, we'll be open from May 1st to October 31st. And for more information, please visit us at savingcranes.org. Hi, I'm Kate Williamson, the Director of Conservation Programs with the Natural Resources Foundation of Wisconsin. Thank you so much for watching our virtual field trip featuring the amazing work that the International Crane Foundation is doing to recover whooping cranes. 
We're able to support that project and many others thanks to our Bird Protection Fund, which since 2009 has invested more than a million dollars in priority bird conservation projects, including recovering the federally endangered whooping crane, piping plover, the Kirtland's warbler, as well as supporting habitat work, research and monitoring, education and outreach, and even working with our partners in Central and South America to help protect uh, overwintering habitat for our migratory birds. That's all possible thanks to donations from folks like you. Thank you so much, and if you'd consider making a donation to the Bird Protection Fund today, we'd really appreciate it. You can learn more, make a donation, and find out about our great Wisconsin Birdathon at wibirdathon.org. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.